Hey, what's up everyone? We had a bunch of questions on the lighting we use. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on that. Um, these are the Beacon Infinity lights made by Lind Equipment. Um, I think Lind Equipment accidentally made like the perfect painter's light. I did a ton of research on lighting and stumbled across these guys and they were actually super, super helpful. Um, I had a lot, of, a lot of random questions for them, so thanks a lot for answering those. Um, yeah, the Beacon Infinity light, uh, 5400 lumens, uh, temperature of 5000, um, like ultra lightweight. I actually, we actually use these as um, like to light out our walls as well, so I don't need any more trouble lights. Like the versatility of these lights is just amazing. Um, like basically they just, any direction you want, uh, they go in and they, they actually take a bit of time to get used to how versatile they are. Like, it, like the more you use them, the more you realize how good they are. It's kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, as far as the light head goes, um, there's a few different options. Basically, there's like the tripod mount, or it comes with like a magnet mount as well. So um, it's a circular magnet mount. Um, it will stick to some hinges or scaffolding for sure, uh, drying racks, whatever. Um, I'd actually prefer a rectangular magnet mount that would like stick really well to hinges because um, the times that we can get them to stick to hinges, it's just amazing. Like small bathrooms, uh, you don't have a tripod in the way, and it like you can pivot all around the light of the bathroom. It's just awesome. Um, you can also put this T on, so basically you can pop this light head off and then put it on like this. Put another light head on like this, and then it's a T up and down. Perfect inspection light. So that basically replaces the festival inspection light. Um, the tripods on these things go a bit higher than festival, so like on an eight-foot ceiling, this will pretty much go like almost all the way up. So I've actually found I don't really even use the T lights at all because when this is up high enough, because it spins so easily and you can move it up and down or whatever, it's it's the inspection light for you anyway. Um, I thought I'd use those T mounts more, but if you're going to get them, I definitely you know for this for the cost of the bracket, I'd have it. Um, but I I rarely use it. So um, the magnet mount I use for sure quite a bit. They also have like a floor mount as well. I don't have any of those, but. Um, so the whole, the whole uh, tripod and the mount and the light head conveniently fit into the uh, Festool tripod bags. The light head fits in here and, tri and the, the brackets as well as the tripod in the main part. So uh, if you're going to get these, I'd recommend getting a bunch of these. I can, I can easily carry like six lights into a house over my shoulder with tripods and a bunch of other tools, which is, is huge. So. You know, as far as as far as painters go, you need light, like directional lighting. So all these like wobble lights and like these lights that like shine in the middle of a room are really not useful for painters at all. Like it's great that they light up the house, but um, as soon as you stand in front of them, you have a shadow. So these things, directional lighting is key, and and these have been uh, integral for us. The other light that we use from Lind Equipment is um, their high bay light. This is like a, a bit of a new technology, I think, from them. And this is a 15,000 lumen light that's meant to hang from ceilings. I just got one of these sort of as a tester uh, to see how it would work for us hanging from ceilings. Um, and I actually found myself hanging the, the bracket over the tripods, and then I thought, oh man, if you could actually mount this to a tripod, that'd be amazing. So I used a junction box and some old extension cord and a uh, like a camera a tripod ball mount uh, that I got off Amazon. So basically you can position these in any direction now. Um, and certainly for, for our bigger sites, these have been uh, a game changer for us. So, um, you know, you can be way up on a scaffold and, you know, put this up to eight feet and shine it up any direction. We kind of refer to these things as our sunflower lights, which is kind of cute, right? So last but not least would be the uh, tripods. Um, really good value for the money, not quite as luxurious as a Festool tripod, but they are a bit lighter, which is great. Um, if they can improve the bracket a bit, so basically if they could do like like a half turn locked, half turn unlocked, that would be really advantageous as opposed to like, you know, turning this thing quite a few times to get it tight and, and, um, and, and loose. It. So uh, yeah, Lind Equipment Lighting. I highly recommend it.